straight. You have the right to tell the voice in your ear, no, get behind me, Satan. You don't have no power over authority over me in my life. No, you can't lay hands on me, uh, uh, doctor who likes sick people. Guess who doctors like? Guess who likes? Sick people. Doctors like sick people. Guess what mechanics find when you take your car to their shop? Problem. Something wrong. Guess what the dentist finds when you open your mouth? Something wrong. Guess what the chiropractor finds when you lay on his table? Something wrong. Guess how they make a living? By finding something wrong. By finding something wrong. That's what they do for a living is find something wrong. And if you're talking to people who always find something wrong with you, you're talking to the wrong person. You need to talk to people who speak to your greatness and not to your adversity. You need to, you need people who will look past your blindness and speak life, past your deafness and speak life, past your burns and speak life, past your molestation and speak life, past your brokenness and your trauma and speak life. You don't need one more person talking to your trauma. People have been talking to your trauma since you was first traumatized. I've seen so many people say, please stand up. I see that you've been through trauma. Well, there goes a news flash. I see you've been through adversity. There's a news flash. Do you ever see anything good? Do you ever see anything powerful? Do you ever see anything profitable in the person? Can you ever just say, I see a woman of God without attaching all that poison to your, to your prophecy or to your prophetic word? Just once. Could I please see a man look at a woman and say, I see perfection. Stop. Just once I would like to have somebody say, I see greatness. Stop. And not add all the other attachments.